guys, welcome back to SV Basic. This week is gonna be a little different because Emma and I are taking over and we're gonna show you a female's perspective of what it's like to live on SV Basic. Yep, it's all about the girls, so Compass, you gotta go. Teal and I have been involved in the cruising community for over 20 years. We have been asked the same questions hundreds of times, and that is, how do I convince my wife to go cruising and sailing with me? So guys, pay attention. I'm gonna give you a little insight and my perspective of what convinced me to get involved in this lifestyle and absolutely love it. Our starter boat was a 41-foot trimaran named Savannah, and we absolutely loved her. That was my first foray into sailing and cruising. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know what to expect, and I really didn't have any expectations. That boat was pretty bare bones compared to our boat now. It had, well, first, we did not have an indoor shower. We showered outside with a solar bag. Um, we had 150 watts of solar. That is so small but that was all that we could afford. And we really didn't have that much needed for, for power consumption because my fridge was 1.7 cubic feet. It was a teeny tiny Norcold. So that was the basics. I mean, there wasn't anything that we really needed and we were so happy. We were so happy to have that boat. And she taught me how to sail. Actually, that was where I learned how to cook. So that trip was amazing. Now, with this boat, it's a little different. It's been quite a few years, and so now we have more needs, I guess, or things that we don't want to go without. When we were in our 20s, we didn't need anything. You really didn't. It was all about just the adventure and the experience. But now that Teal and I have a family, it's, it's more important for me to not just go sailing and go cruising, but also to create a home where we can take this and do everything that we want to do. Um, and I gotta say, that is the key. That is the key to creating a happy um, home life is to make a home on board. I mean, you don't have to have one or the other. It doesn't have to be a, a house or, or a boat. I mean, why can't you kind of combine those two things and, um, and just, you know, have the best of both worlds. What I mean about the best of both worlds is there are quite a large number of women that are out there cruising and they love it and they really take into the lifestyle. But there's that small percentage that are still on the fence and their guys can't figure out why. And I think that the key is, is don't make it feel like camping. You know, make them not miss their home. Teal was really smart. He really encouraged me early on to really nest. I love n nothing more than to decorate. You guys know this because uh, things change all the time. And Emma, I mean, yeah, I know she, I have my cozy room. I have my fuzzy blanket. And, the <laughs> and you know, we we think about that too. You know, we don't want to just rip her out of school and and just you know throw this lifestyle at her as well. But you know, we encourage her to bring all the things that she loves. She doesn't miss anything from from our old house. So. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing, is to just make them feel like this is their home. You know, it's always kind of sad when you have to take down the Christmas decorations, but it doesn't last very long because now we're ready to transition to the next one, which is Lunar New Year. And most years we go home to see my parents so we can spend that time together. But since we're on the move now, it's not so easy. So I decided that we're going to spend it here and we are going to celebrate it exactly how we normally do it when I go see my parents. So right now we are putting up some decorations and then tomorrow Emma and I are gonna take the bus over to Aberdeen to pick up some special ingredients that we need in order for me to make the special dishes that my mom always makes. I always look forward to Lunar New Year. It's all about food, Family, and best of all, all the kids get lucky money. 
Okay, Emma and I are on the hunt today. There's a couple things that I still need for um, decorations and preparations for Lunar New Year. So yeah. we're gonna take the bus to the neighboring town and see if we can hit everything that we need. That's one of the down things about um, being in a small town is that you can't find all the supplies that you need. So it should be fun. Yeah. So wish us luck. <laughs> Let's go. We got a long list of items and we have two hours before heading back. So wish us luck because we are on a mission. So we got most of the items, but we have one more store to go to because they didn't have everything that we needed there. <laughs> I gotta say, this has been very interesting, trying to get everything that you need in smaller towns. Just makes it a little interesting, right yeah. Emma? There's not very much here. <laughs> I just hope that we're able to make it across town, grab the stuff, and make it back to the bus station. Yeah, we gotta make it to the... <laughs> because the next bus out of town back to Westport is an another four hours. And I don't want to be here for another four hours. Yeah. We got everything on the list, so we're gonna go ahead back. We have like five minutes to spare. We kinda close this time. We got all of the ingredients to make egg rolls with the exception of shrimp. So we're gonna go buy that locally on the next dock over. So we got our shrimp. Yep. And you know, one of the things that we always try to do is we try to buy locally as much as we can. These mom and pop shops, and these local guys, they work really hard, you know, and in an area like this, it's pretty much a ghost town in, in the cold months because nobody wants to go out there. Yeah. But these guys are in there day in and day out trying to just, you know, make a go of their business. So anytime that we have the opportunity to, we will buy local. So support local business, guys. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> You know, we talk about how bad this weather is and how we're stuck here, but the silver lining is, is we are surrounded by the most generous, nicest, hardworking crabbers. These guys bust their butts going out there. They sneak in when it's bad. Um, and yet, even after that, they still come in and share their bounty with us. Hans Halbert just pulled in this morning because they were out there overnight and they brought over this monster crab. So, you know what I'm making tonight. Now that all the food shopping is done, the fun really begins. We lay out all the fruit and we're gonna do a cleanse of the boat and also um, prepare all the foods. All of the fruit really symbolizes a lot of things for us, which is health, happiness, wealth, and good luck. 2020 is the year of the rat. My mom is the year of the horse, my dad is the year of the snake, and I was born in the year of the golden pig. Now let's talk food. Vietnamese New Year's is all about the food. So earlier I already started uh, doing my braised pork with eggs, and that's simmering now on the stove. And we also got some fresh crabs. So I am going to be making crab rangoon and a salad and of course egg rolls lots and lots of egg rolls so in our tradition every year my mom would make a huge pot of the egg roll mix or filling 
and us sisters would sit around the big table and we would all wrap. We would wrap hundreds of egg rolls. And my mom used to actually judge us based on who rolled the best rolls every year. I think I did pretty good, but you know, I'm a little biased. So this year we're teaching Emma how to do this. And it's yeah. also a good time to just kind of sit back and, you know, kind of do something that's just monotonous and just talk, just talk about the, the last year and what we want to do. And just my mom always gives us a little bit of tidbits or advice on what she thinks that we could do or work on. So this is just fun. And I think Emma's doing pretty good. What do yeah. you think? Our ro egg rolls are a lot smaller than my mom's, but there's just the three of us, and I really do like finger foods. Yeah, bite-sized ones are pretty cool. They are. Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah. You're doing really good, Emma. Thanks. So my recipe is a little different than my mom's. I've tweaked it a little bit to uh, my taste, and I think it's I think it's pretty good. One of the other things is, is it's kind of time consuming. So I like to make a bigger batch and uh, roll everything up and actually put it in the freezer. So you don't have to cook everything up at the same time. You can have that in and when you feel like it, pop it in um, out of the freezer and fry it up. So it's your own little frozen food. These are the best tools for frying egg rolls. I just use the tip of it and I dip it in and as soon as I get a little bit of bubbles, I know it's time and the oil is ready. So we'll just pop a few in. Not to crowd them. And then these are perfect to flip them. I just spent six hours prepping and cooking food that was that was a lot we made braised pork with eggs with rice which is amazing and it was actually it was really sweet this year because Emma helped me with the egg rolls that's a real bonding experience that I will never ever forget and of course we had to do something with crab because we got that fresh crab this morning from our neighbors. So obviously I had to do something with it. That's crab rangoon. That was kind of fun to make too. That's one of Teal's favorites. So I thought also I'll do a side um, Asian salad with cabbage just to lighten it up a little bit. And you know, and the other thing is, is that um, for our, ch our, our Vietnamese New Year's, we don't do like a huge meal. We actually just spread everything out for New Year's and just kind of snack on it all day long because it's all about just spending time with your family and friends and just relaxing. It's a day of reflectment. So we don't just do like a formal sit down. But my day is not over yet. I got one more thing to do and that is the cleansing of our home. So what I mean about cleansing the boat is in my culture, what you do is the night before New Year's, you actually go through your home and you clean your home top to bottom and that is in essence sweeping out and cleaning out all the bad energy all your failures anything that's negative in your life you clean that out and you're welcoming in all the good things that you want for the new year which is health happiness love family and wealth and prosperity these are all the things that uh, we wish upon ourselves in this home and towards other people as well so this is a good time of reflection of just kind of letting go of anything bad from the previous year and giving yourself another clean slate for the new year so emma and i are going to be going through the entire boat 
and we are going to sweep, we're going to mop, we're going to polish and just make everything bright again. Now that everything is done and prepared for tomorrow, it's time for us to just relax. So I'm treating Eva and I to a day spa on board basic. Yep. So just wanted to wish everybody a happy Lunar New Year or in Vietnamese. Chúc mừng năm mới. Wishing you guys the best for this year. Now let's get some nails done. Okay. <laughs> I am so lucky to have these two amazing ladies in my life. They always put so much work behind the scenes to make our boat a comfortable home. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you guys next week. What? I have an oily T-zone. <laughs>